Yo, what's going on guys? Ism here and today I'll be going over some important things, mostly mental but also rage inducing. But before I get started, make sure you hit that like button and sub. Actions have consequences, right? And so does decision making. When you make the wrong choice within a game, you have to deal with those consequences and the outcome of that later. Whether the outcome is good, smart, or disgustingly bad. The gist of it is, don't beat yourself up over a bad decision that went wrong and led you to die within a match. Take a minute, recoup, Think what you could have done differently within the match. Say GG and move on. Don't throw your controller. Don't throw your mouse. Don't throw your keyboard. Don't punch your monitor. Just do, we'll do what I said. Say GG. Move on after you, know, you reminisce over the match for about a minute. And that is the number one rule of PUBG. Now for me here, uh, this game I got number two in. And it's my decision making which led me to die. And to this day, I... I um, I did go, what? And I, I complained for about a minute. Now I have a different, completely different mindset. If you, if I, this happened to me back in the day, let's say like 2017 PUBG me, I would have probably have raged for about 20 minutes on it. And uh, you would never heard the end of it. So now I came back. I have a completely different mindset with PUBG, with gaming in general. With PvP, most like most definitely PvP. I reminisce about a minute or two of the situation, talk to chat or whoever else is with me or behind me, and I will come up with ways that would have could have done differently. Then I'll learn from my mistakes, say GG, and then I'll move on. Now this game in particular is me coming up with crazy ideas on how to survive, with <laughs> which you might not think is going to be amazing, and it's not. It's just luck and willpower most most definitely luck but not not, not willpower I, I don't know why i said that all right so i'm fighting this guy right here or I, I, I don't hear him i know he's there i think and my my skill my decision making skills right here is to put a smoke right here where the circle's gonna you know <laughs> consume it so oh great good cover Islam. but what i what i could have done was Put it well i probably shouldn't have made any smoke at all because the circle's coming in and the, the circle is going to end about right here so yeah the smoke not a best choice and he sees me right here or he's going to see me right i'm gonna i'm gonna slow this down a little bit so yeah he sees me he's gonna shoot at me and i took into what i thought was best in this situation i guess and I jumped. <laughs> I jumped, but you, we all know when you jump, you have this getting up animation. And that that right there could have killed me. Easily could have killed me. Now, does he still have... He do, But surprisingly, he does not have any LOS on me, I think. <clears throat> yeah. He can kind of see me. He might have to shoot me in the leg or something. But... Oh yeah, he can still see me. He's just spraying. So when you spray and pray like that, you're most likely going to miss those kind of shots. Uh, luckily, he did shoot me while in midair. But for him, I survived that. And it was not the best choice to do that because it could have it could have eliminated me right there. Right then and there. But he didn't. So I'm going to continue on heal up. He's just going to waste all of his, uh, his Molotovs, his throwables and all that nonsense for some reason. And I try to go. I try to go around. Oh, he okay. He saw me right there. I try to go around and shoot, but I think what happened was I thought this was him, or I saw, I saw something that might have been him, and I just shot. And uh, sometimes you might think going back into the circle looking hey, that's a good idea, but you're also gonna waste meds and stuff. But uh, in my situation, it worked. Um, and it kind of distracted him, which I didn't know it distracted him until now. But that that was a good idea. Now he's he's um uh, he's playing it safe. He's kind of like, well, where did he go? What happened? So he's just gonna back off while I'm healing up, and I'm just gonna sit here and wait to heal up, and then wait for the circle to push. Now, like I said, this is okay to do. I mean, I am moving around. I never stop moving. That's probably bad in terms of people finding out where I'm at. But if if it's, you know, to deflect a headshot or something, then I'm going to take it. So I go back around because the reason why I went back around. So this is the big part in decision making right here. 
The reason why I went back around like this is because I figured he probably went down right here and or these guys right here could potentially see me, but I think, wait, I don't know what, okay, I don't know what, I think that's a bot. But yeah, anyway, those guys could potentially see me and shoot up at me if I went the, this way. And then I'd be, I don't think these guys can see me at all. Yeah, probably not. That's fine. Yeah, that's exactly what I went right there. It, yeah, it wasted my meds. But at the same time, I went around. I got through when I needed to get through. I'm going to heal up with my bandages here. Or at least pop a bandage, move, move forward. That way I could heal a little bit better. Now, if this guy didn't back up, if he backed up but stayed at one of these trees, he would have saw me and probably killed me. But he didn't. He, he goes down. And it kind of looks like he's still crouch walking. Yeah, he's still, he's still terrified and crouch walking. Now, here's the thing. When I assumed this guy moved around and moved probably around here, well, that part in my decision-making skills and, well, survival skills, I, I, I heard him. Or at least I saw him, one of the two. I forgot uh, what happened in that game. I don't, I don't think he's moving. Maybe I did kind of hear him because he did move. To, he moved a little bit. But him backing off like that, I, I got the kill from him. And that honestly wasn't the best choice on his part to stay huddled up like that, scared, crouch walking. All right, so I'm going to heal up. I'm, I'm really low. I'm going to heal up. Circle's going to dick on me a little bit. And right here is where it gets really good. <laughs> this guy... I know he sees me. I know he sees me. Now, again, he could have easily had me, but he decided to want to prone out and just, you know, do do whatever he wants to do. And it, it would be okay if he was proned out where there's actual foliage, but he's prone down on top of this little uh, dirt mound right here. And I, I see him. I saw him like... When I was running down. That's why I uh, went by. Yeah, I saw him right there. If he didn't get up, I probably wouldn't have seen him. Like, it's the inconsistency in the terrain is how I saw him. It's like, wait, it's a white thing. It doesn't belong there in, in, on the ground. That might have... In, anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw his white shirt. And then I confirmed he was there by just staring at him. And I know he was still proned out. And I killed him. And his decision making is not that great. You don't ever prone out in, in wide-ass open like that with when you have no cover and nothing covering you from your prone. I don't know where the last people are, but I assume one's probably over here or moving up from each other. Now, they are, of course, both proned out waiting, right? <laughs> now, at the end circle, it's fine doing this, but... Again, we're talking about casual, but if you really want to win, sure. All right, this guy is actually moving now. Now, what you want to do is you want to get position. Somehow. All right, somehow. Well, for some reason, he was he threw a grenade right there. I don't know why. And I don't understand why he's still crawling. Honestly, there's not that much foliage here at all all right circle coming in i don't know if these guys are actually in the circle oh yeah they are okay i was about to say are they right next to each other there's no way all right so his his mistake his mistake right there was he popped up first don't ever do that if you see someone while prone they mu they probably don't see you because you haven't got shot at yet don't ever get up just shoot them while you're prone all right, so yeah, he got the, he got the kill there, and then the other he almost died through that grenade. Now this is uh, this is where it comes a little bit hefty in my in my part. Um, I know that guy's dead, and I have no really no cover over here. I have no smokes. I used all my smokes. I shouldn't have done that. Now what what I beat myself over was I used the smokes prior but on top of a hill and it was consumed by the play zone in immediately so it was a waste of smokes that I could have used here 
and I could have just I could have potentially won this game if I hadn't wasted my smokes. All right, so I don't know where he's at. I know they last fall up here, so I know he's got to be up here. And I see him at the tree because it's, it's basically the only tree there, so why not? Took my shots. I hit him. I, I hit him, or at least he hadn't healed up fully. He throws his grenades. I have no no throwables, no grenades, no nothing. And that my that was my major issue with this game right here. My throwables were just non-existent. So I go I go to heal. Circle moving in. I can I can only move one place. He proned out and he killed me. And if I had throwables, right? If I had throwables or smokes at least, those the smokes that I used earlier, I could have had a fighting chance. All right, so when it comes to decision making, I thought I made the right choices in this uh, case. And I search around because I uh, heard some shots and I'm just looking around to make sure there's no one else behind me or around me. I have uh, my smoke grenades. I have a grenade. So I, I, most, I do have what I need to survive. This guy runs down. This is exactly what I'm looking for here. And then he dies. All right. Well, he was he was dodging and weaving, but Dragonov is a pretty OP in terms of headshots, but body shots, it's not that great. But it is still a banger of a gun. Now, I, I know where shots are to my left. I know a couple people are fighting. Maybe that's a third shot. I don't know if that's a second or third shot. And there's a grenade going off. So I know people are fighting. That's that's when I move, right? So I'm moving. This guy uh, is in the vehicle from the compound. I think he had the, the sniper rifle. Not the silenced one, but the, the loud one. So I think they go rush each other. And I, I don't use my smokes because I know everyone's probably over there. Sure enough, two people die. One, one died to play zone. It's a two, two V one. All right. Now it's a one V one. Okay. And this, this game right here did eat me up a little bit, but as I said, I kind of, I moved on from it as soon as it happened. The last place I know where the last person is, is over there where all the shots were at. It's gotta be, has to be where, where it's at. And I'm looking around, I'm trying to make sure where he's at and I'm looking, I'm still looking. And I, I think I spotted something, maybe not. Now, I'm still looking around, making sure I'm all covered. Now, it could easily be prone. And when you're down here in this uh, situation, ev everyone, anyone could be prone or, or crouched in a bush, and you almost would never know unless you look. That's why I'm looking at literally everything. If I didn't have a good scope, I probably couldn't have seen anything. So I'm looking. I'm still looking. Nothing's going on. So it probably won't go on until the next cir the circle moves or until this guy shows himself peaks. Because there's a one huge rock in the middle of the zone. I'm under where the other guy is, right? So I'm right here at the big ass rock. And this guy, he's got to be—I know he's got to be back here, where the, uh, the where the other guys fall. And sure enough, I see him right there. I see him, and I, I take shots. He takes shots. No! But one thing I always say is. For one, I, well, I never said this. For one, I peaked way too long in that little, in that last one. Instead of peak, pop down as soon as you you peek and, and shoot. I stayed up like this, and then I went down, and that's how I got the headshot off. But here's the major thing that went wrong, and what my decision making led to my death right there is I peaked the same side too often. Now, if I peaked the same side once and then twice and then went went over peek the other side immediately ran over on the other side or or peeked it twice on this side and it kind of just made it so random he couldn't even know where i'm where i'm going to be at i could have threw my uh, grenade like I, I have a grenade i could have threw that and i didn't and it, when it comes down to the to the end of the game you almost never think of what to do because you're so like one-sided in, in the thought process and then when everything happens it's like oh i could have done that or this and that, but that's what I'm talking about. Don't, don't ever just reminisce over the same game for more, just for more than a minute or two and then just cut it off. Say GG's well, next game and just play to the next game. And to me, that's the number one rule of PUBG to keep your mental status healthy. And you don't want to disregard the game and, you know, complain about the game being trash when in that moment in time, your decision-making skills weren't that great and led you to your death. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and sub, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.